Hi, thanks for coming to the SSK Virtual Vendor Fair. I'm Erin from Rock and String Creations. You can find my shop at www.rockandstringcreations.com. You can also find me on Instagram as Rock and String Yarn, and we are also on Facebook. We are a small hand dyed company out of Eastern Kentucky. Um, I specialize in a lot of self striping yarns, as you can see up here. I also dye fiber, and then I do dye some non-striping yarn as well. Uh, so I do quite a variety of things. And I'd like to show you what um, what I've been up to. I've got a few new things that I'm going to show you, so I hope you're as excited to see these as I am. Everything is up in the shop and available for purchase. Um, if you see something that you like, but maybe uh, there's not enough or I don't have it dyed up on the base that you'd like, please, please send me an email and I will be more than happy to accommodate you. Also, there's free shipping on orders that are $60 or more. And that's all the time that's not a special or anything. So that's um, all year round, $60 and you get free shipping. So I'm just going to jump right in and show you what I've been up to. And this is, um, I'm going to save my SSK colorway um, probably till towards the end. But I do have a couple new colorways that I'd like to show you. This one is brand new, and I dyed it up on, on fiber a couple weeks ago, and it had a really, really good response. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that in self-striping yarn, too. So I'm going to show you the fiber first since it since it came first and this is this is Bacchus and this particular fiber is Rambouillet I don't have much of this left um, hopefully I still have some left by the time um, that all these videos go live um, but I'll definitely be doing doing more of this so that was it on fiber and then I also do have it on self-striping yarn and this is on the my sparkle base uh, which is called sachet and I'll show it to you in the skein this is what it looks like in the skein uh, so these are two 50 gram skeins that are dyed exactly at the same time and they match uh, so they will match stripe for stripe if you do your socks two at a time. This is a great option for you. And even if you don't do them two at a time and you like your socks to match, uh, you don't have to pull back and waste yarn um, because it is already set up for you. And another fairly popular colorway that I have, and I don't have it. I don't think I have it in a skein right now. But this is just a very good traditional rainbow. This is my Roy G. Biv colorway. And I have that just about on every base I offer at the moment. So a good, good traditional rainbow. That's not new, but I do have a couple other new things. And this is fun. I'm excited about this. This was a whole lot of fun. This is, and the name doesn't really make sense unless you go back and watch the movie. So go back and watch the movie because it's wonderful. And everyone loves it. Well, maybe not everyone, but I love it. So this is You Have Proved Yourself Worthy. This is a take on Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This is just the first half of the movie. I will be coming out with the second half later, which will probably have a little bit more of a typical name. But here's the stripes. So these are all inspired by the movie. Um, this one up here at the top is Migrating Coconuts. This one is She Turned Me Into a Newt. And The Black Knight Always Triumphs. Repression. Strange Women in Ponds, and Bring Out Your Dead. So that's the first half of the movie, and the second half is, is to come also. So that is You Have Proved Yourself Worthy. And that's, again, a line from the movie. So if you don't recognize it, I recommend going back and watching it. I have another new colorway, and this one I did on fiber as well, uh, but I did do it on, on yarn first. This is Phoenix. And this is how it knits up. And here we have it in the skeins. Again, that's the matchy matchy set. And that is the sparkle. So I'm hoping that'll 
that'll come up and you'll see that. And I think this is the last of my new colorways and I think I forgot to grab the skein a bit, but that's okay. This is how it knits up. This is called Mischievous. And that's a fun four stripe yarn. Oh, I forgot to show you um, Phoenix on fiber and it is right here. And I've got it on, on a multiple of bases. This one right here is BFL. That's it on fiber. And then I'd like to show you a couple more of my uh, colorways that are, are fairly popular. This was the colorway that I did for my first SSK, and this is called Southern Charm. So it's kind of inspired by several different things that I love about where I'm from. Come some phrases that I, I like. So let's do it this way because I think I do it this way usually. So this one, actually we're going to start with the green. Uh, the brown, we'll do there. <laughs> I'm indecisive apparently. So this one here is Red Dirt Roads. This one here is Hills and Hollers. This one is Magnolia and I'm going to come back to this one for a second here in just a bit when I get done explaining the names for these uh, stripes. So this one's Magnolia. This one is If the Creek Don't Rise. Sweet as a Peach. And there's some little like pink specks in there. This one is My Stars. And the yellow is Butter My Biscuit. So those are some things that I love about um, the area that I live in. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to come back to you on the Magnolia. I have, I have it in full skeins also because I really liked it and there were a couple of people that said oh you should do that in a full skein and the my star stripe kind of also inspired another colorway which has been um, pretty popular this is constellation so it's on a really dark blue background with a flex of white and I can show you how it knits up um, this is the Sock Arm Sweater by Stephanie Lotvin. And I think this is her fingering weight version. So this is how it knits up. You know, just little random white speckles of, or white speckles everywhere. Anyway, so this is, this is how Constellation knits up. And I don't have this colorway available right now. Um, this is um, Creekside Cabin. This one will probably be available soon because it's a nice, uh, nice fall color. Okay, so the last self-striping color I'm going to show you is, um, is another one that's fun and it has uh, stripes named for it too. So this one is Campfire S'mores. And it's, of course, inspired by a s'more and a campfire. So you've got two, uh, two graham crackers here, and then a marshmallow and chocolate. And then down here, you've got the fire. Because you've always got to have a fire for s'mores. And, okay, I'm going to go on to um, a few of my... Um, non-striping colorways that are my favorites right now. So I've got, I've got four that I really, really like, and I would really, really love to see someone do something together with these. So this is, this one is Newt, and it is inspired, kind of inspired by the, the Monty Python and the Holy Grail colorway that, um, that I just showed you. And I would really like to see something done with a uh, rusty nail. It's the it's rusty nail is a speckled colorway on a on a gray background. And 
and then I also have this one. This is Sod, and it's a really nice, um, rich green with, um, very warm speckles of brown throughout. And another one that goes well with all of those is, um, this is, this is Apple Dumplin' a la mode. There we go. It's blowing out a little bit. It's a little bright. So, but that one, I'm actually, I should have gotten it, but I didn't. This is, um, a great combo here. Or you can add the rusty nail to it, like this. I think that would be good too. And you could actually even do all four of these together, I think, for something that would be really, really great. Okay, so we're going to go on to my SSK colorway. And Nashville seems to have a pretty excellent nightlife. There's all kinds of stuff you can go and do and see. Um, so this, I called it the, um, the neon, neon lights of Nashville. So it is a, wow, that's bright. Okay. So this is a, uh, this is a self-striping yarn and it's got a black background, but it has flex and speckles of all the colors of the rainbow. So it's got, you know, the the pink and an orange and a green and a yellow and a blue and a pink and a purple. So I thought that was super, super fun. I'd really like to see someone make a hat out of this. Most of my colorways do stripe on hats. Um, I've designed them that way and I like the stripes to be wide enough so that you can at least tell that it is a striping yarn on a hat. So again, that is the Neon Lights of Nashville. And I think that is mostly what I have available right now. I've got, um, there are a few more things in the shop. Um, lots of self-striping colorways. One of the other ones that I forgot to mention because it's hanging up right here. This is um, Meow. This is always another popular colorway, but I haven't had a chance to dye it yet. So it will be available for pre-order on the website. And again, that is www.rockandstringcreations.com. Again, you can follow me at Rock and String Yarn on Instagram, and I'd like to take take the time to take can't talk. I'd like to take the time to thank uh, Leslie and Laura and Gwen for all their hard work that they've put into this year and getting this virtual marketplace together um, for for all of the vendors so that they could still participate and for the attendees so that we can all um, see what our favorite dyers have been up to because we've been missing we've been missing our people and missing our fellow vendors so thank you for taking the time to uh, watch the video and please take the time to check out my shop have a great day thanks